Several of you have had issues with Twine, and I just want to give you kind of a heads up, and this is how you kind of work with it. So I'm I'm doing a new story right now, or a regular story, and this is my testing story. But if you want to make a story, right, there's there's easy way to do it is basically create a new story, untitled. We're going to call it uh, Monkey, and we're going to create it. And so you get a little rocket with a little untitled passage. And so if you double click on this, unpa this passage here, this is the body of the text, and then you have to put more information into it. So for example, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna rename this and I wanna call it um, hello, right? So this is my hello page. And then I'm going to say hello, how, are you and then that is my text and I can have the text anything I want I can colorize it I can do all the things but the next thing I need to do is I need to create a link to the next page so to create a link to the next page I have to title that page so if I go here and I say new and say it's untitled passage I'm going to say here I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call it good and I can drag and move this stuff around. So I'm gonna create one called good, and I'm gonna create one called bad. Rename this, and this is bad, right? And so, hello, how are you? I'm gonna go back to the original passage, and I'm gonna move this apart so you can say, see the difference. So I'm gonna go back to the original passage, and I'm gonna type in bracket, bracket, good, and hit enter. And that's going to finish the brackets. And you'll notice once I do that, it creates a, it's a, an arrow from A to B, right? So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a return and I'm going to hit bad. So bracket, bracket, bad. And then I hit enter and you see the brackets there. So there lies the process, if you will, right? And so with that idea in mind, now I have a page that I can kind of work with. So say I want to go, I'm just going to grab a website image here real quick. I'm going to grab uh, one of my pieces of art, uh, something like this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy image address. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to go underneath it. And I'm going to go IMG S uh, R C and then I'm going to say equals so that means image source equals and I'm going to paste that that uh, image in there right I'm going to hit enter or oh, sorry I'm going to hit uh, uh, quotations to close my quote and then the end so once I do it turns green or purple so I have code in there right so now I should have a little image in there now most likely my image isn't looking good but if I say test from here, it's going to open a new page and it says, hello, how are you? And I've got good and bad. And so I can go to good and it's going to go to an empty spot because there's nothing there. And I can go to bad because it's empty spot and I go nothing there. So that's my test. Now, if the test is working, the image is working, but say I, I want to change the uh, width or height, I can do height and I can say equals uh, 50, let's just do it this way. Uh, I'll do in brackets, so 50%, and then I can do with equals, and I can do 50% again there, right? And so as long as that's purple, I'm good to go. Now I can go here, and basically create something. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna just say, I had a good day, right? And then I'm going to pick another image just really quickly here. I'm gonna copy image address and I'm gonna put that image in there. So again, IMG source, equals quotation quotation 
and then I'm going to put my other image in there. And so then I'm going to put behind that, I'm going to say uh, bracket bracket, and I'm going to say hello, and hit enter, and you'll notice that there's a two-way arrow now. It means I can go back and forth. Um, and same thing with bad, I'm going to, you know, instead of having to copy everything over, I'm just going to copy. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to paste, and then I'm going to say bad, and then I'm going to grab another image here, and I'm going to just copy my image address by right-clicking and saying copy image address, and then I'm going to go like so, and hit paste, and so now that's in there, and now I can go back here, and I can test from here, and so hello, how are you? I'm good, and then I had a good day, back to hello, and bad, and back to hello. So that can link me back and forth. And that's basically the gist of how to use Twine. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, let me know. And um, I hope you have a good day.